I know it's technically still late spring, but it's really going to start feeling like summer here within the next few days. Today, the high in Boise is expected to be 85 degrees. We've got the sun shining. We've got some fair weather clouds in the distance here, so certainly feeling like summer, even though it is not quite official start of summer just yet. And it's going to continue to feel like that because we've got the warm temperatures lingering through tonight, the sun shining once again. But as we go into tomorrow, we start to get close to 90 degrees. So yeah, definitely starting to feel a little bit Bit more like summer. We also are going to have the continued chances of some thunderstorms, which again also feels like a summer like pattern. So for today, where the thunderstorms develop, we're not expecting those to hit the severe uh, a level category. However, as we go to tomorrow, those are going to have a little bit of a stronger system with them. And so we're going to see the chances of some of those storms hitting the severe level as we go into the afternoon and evening hours, looking to stay just south of Boise. And that means with those storms, if they go to severe, they'll have gusts of 50 miles an hour and a small hail with them as well. Some that's some of the criteria for a severe storm. So you can see the central mountains to get a little bit of a break in the early afternoon hours. Initially Initiating right around four o'clock and that's the same time we'll start to see some storms develop in the Magic Valley. So those are going to be a little bit stronger for the Magic Valley areas. Then that moisture will continue to shift to the northwest and a little bit of those stronger storms going to be towards McCall around 11 o'clock. And you'll notice it kind of skips over Treasure Valley spots, but I think that there's still a chance we could see some of those stronger storms with some of those outflow boundaries that these storms will bring. It's not a really high chance, but it, I wouldn't rule it out. We could still see some stronger showers. And then again, we're continuing with this stormy pattern. And so we're going to see even more moisture moving in on Wednesday, Wednesday afternoon. So if we look at your seven day forecast, again, staying hot for tomorrow, 88 degrees, the high for tomorrow. And again, it's a pretty low chance for seeing that precipitation tomorrow, but there's so much moisture in our vicinity. I wouldn't rule it out with the help of some of those outflow boundaries. And then Wednesday, we start to see again, hotter temperatures nearing 90 degrees. And then the evening storm chances on Wednesday in the morning, we could see some of those showers. And then as we go through the rest of the week, you'll see the temperatures really start to get cooler as we go towards Friday, but we're also going to see a higher chance of storms on that day. And overall, seeing a pretty stormy pattern as we look ahead for the rest of the weekend as well. So feeling very summer like with the moisture and the warm temperatures, even though we haven't quite started summer yet.